Hello everyone, Lego Mega 961 here, here with another video. Well, for this video I will be reviewing Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And I did mention it in my Lego Star Wars Sith Trooper Battle Pack that I was going to review it. But I just didn't get a chance because a lot of things happened. I mean, my, my laptop wasn't working and I had to take it somewhere to get it fixed and now everything's in good working order again. I got headphones in, sorry. Should have taken them out before, but let's leave it as is. But with that being said, everything's working properly and everything's fine and hunky-dory. But I'm going to go straight to the point on The Rise of Skywalker. I love the movie. 110,000%. I love the movie. The Rise of Skywalker is truly a really nice way to end the Skywalker saga. 100%. What I really loved is how it ties all the Star Wars movies together. In fact, not just, just the movies alone, but every TV show, every comic book, every novel, everything. And that includes TV shows like Clone Wars, Bad Batch, Rebels, Resistance. And yeah, I know Bad Batch wasn't introduced yet. It was introduced in Season 7 of Clone Wars, but... Still, I like to mention them anyway. What I really like... Well, pretty much everything. Like, the, the duel on the second Death Star wreckage on um, one of the moons of Endor... That, that was pretty awesome. And we got to know more about Ray's lineage. Yeah. that That's pretty cool, too. She was a Palpatine. I mean, believe it or not. Spoilers ahead if I, if I didn't mention. And, well, pretty much everyone saw the film, so apologies in advance. But... It, it it is cool to see he what pop what Ray is like now. I mean, we get to know more about her family and how Palpatine survived, in which you saw in my reaction video on the trailer for Rise of Skywalker that Palpatine is alive, which which caught me by surprise. And when I saw Palpatine like in the chair, like half dead, it. It literally gave me goosebumps. I mean, I was in utter shock. I mean, we all remember, like, in Return of the Jedi, we see Anakin throwing Palpatine down the core shaft, down to his death. But it was confirmed in the Rise of Skywalker novelization that Palpatine survived by transferring his essence into a clone body on Exegol. And yeah, I'm gonna say it, Exegol, it looked amazing. I mean, all the statues and all those big chains and the, and all the clones of Snoke, that's amazing. Yeah, and also Ben Redemption, that's pretty cool too. I mean, we saw him Talking to his father, her Han. Now, I know you are wondering how is Han a, on a Force ghost, even though he's not Force sensitive. Well, I did see a video and he said, I don't know what a Force ghost is, so I'm just there because I'm there. I don't know, that's not exactly how it goes, but it is. It is what it is. And also, seeing Luke as a Force Ghost, it's pretty cool, too. And not only that, but we actually saw Leia's cannon lightsaber. Now, I love the design of that lightsaber. It looks much like Luke's, but with more design to it. I mean, that, that's pretty cool, too. And with that being said, 
I really love how Rey renounced her Palpatine lineage and adopted the name of Skywalker. And yes, I'm defending that. I'm defending the sequel trilogy as well as the prequel trilogy 110,000%. But what about the rest of the stuff? I mean, Agent Claw's the resistance base. I love that, in which I love Ray training. And I saw visions of, and Ray saw visions of what happened, like in the past and in an alternate universe and stuff. That that's pretty cool too. And we finally learned what happened to to Ray's parents. I mean, yeah. I mean, Ray's parents were killed by OG of Bestoon which was introduced in this film, but in the, in the new Darth Vader comics, we expand more on Ochi's character. But, whatever happened to Ochi? Was he found out by another bounty hunter, or did one of the Knights of Ren kill him? Boy, that's the million dollar question. And the Knights of Ren... Hell yeah, these guys got big time screen. I mean, yeah, they were useless, but, but I want to see more of those guys. And the comics, the comics in particular, they expand more on the Knights of Ren. And yes, I didn't read all of the comics related to the Knights of Ren, but I'll, I'll get to it eventually. Now, the Force Ghosts. It is cool to see Luke again as a Force Ghost, but when Rey was calling out to the Jedi of the past to be with her, I mean, yeah, if you're like me, I did want to see Force Ghosts, those of the Jedi that came before. I mean, that would have been so cool, but it is really cool to hear the voices again. In fact, not only the voices from a live action, but also animated, like... We got Alayla Secura, Luminar Unduli, the Adi Galia, Kanan Jarrus, Qui Gon, Mace, Yoda, Anakin, Obi Wan, and now Luke. That that is amazing. And also, I'm kind of a Raylo fan. And yes, we did get the Raylo kiss in the movie. But I was kind of upset to see Ben die. I mean, yeah, I know he sacrificed himself to save Ray, but I would have loved to see him survive. I would love to see him help Ray rebuild the Jedi Order and help rebuild the Republic. I mean, that would have been so cool. But we got what we got, and there's no big deal. And what else did I like? I like Pasana. I like Kijimi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got that right. And I also love how it referenced every other system from, from across the Star Wars universe. Like, I mean, we saw Mustafar again, and Mustafar is getting more and more better of what it was now. I mean, we got trees everywhere. I mean, there's no... I mean, we saw lava in little spots, but overall... It looks pretty cool. And yes, I did hear about the Eye of the Webbish Bog. I mean, I wish we could have seen that. I mean, we saw it in the Vader comics. And it looked amazing. I mean, it would have been really cool to see the Eye of the Webbish Bog in live action in Star Wars media. But, like I said, it is what it is. And... I love the movie, and I highly, highly recommend you watch it. But, with that being said, what are your thoughts on The Rise of Skywalker? Do you love it? Do you enjoy it? Do you have mixed reactions on it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And, that's it for this video, my friends. And, if you enjoyed this content, please, feel free to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell notifications so that way you can be notified if I upload a next video. And as always, this is LEGO Mega 961 signing off. And
May the fourth be with you always.